So what's up guys, how you not doing now? Welcome back, this is your boy Eggy Adams Link. I hope so you're not doing okay. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. Subscribe, like, and invite your loved ones. Without further ado, guys, uh, let's jump right into the matter. Let's talk about Ademola Lukman, the only European League player that have scored a trick hmm? during the final. A trick, the only goals. Of course, you don't need me to repeat it now. Lukman, his face represents what he has done. His body represents, merely looking at him, you know exactly what this guy has done. How he has made us proud. Despite the English people refuse to acknowledge him greatly, the way he should have been acknowledged. They acknowledge him, but it wasn't still enough for us. We wanted them to acknowledge him continuously, continuously. But guess what, guys? This is the latest now. A Saudi Arabia billionaire, the billionaire, a billionaire in Saudi Arabia, want to buy the ball. The ball. Look, man play to score those attrick the saudi arabia want to buy the ball because the ball is currently with lukman you won't believe the amount this billionaire is willing to pay for that ball you won't believe the amount the man is willing to pay for that ball 15 million us dollars just for that ball and the ball is currently with Lukman. So I don't know how those kind of things goes. I don't know if Lukman will sell the ball, then share the money with FIFA and also other parties who, who are involved in that pitch. I don't know how it goes. Or if Lukman will sell and will pocket the entire money. They say the Saudi billionaire want a Demola Europa ball. According to a reliable source, a Saudi billionaire who do not want his name in print has prepared a $15 million bid for the Atric ball of 2023 to 2024 European League final. Look, my teammates and colleagues have all signed on the board. He was gifted following his hat trick against uh, Bayern uh, by 0 4 last uh, Wednesday. Whether Lukman wishes to part way with the ball remains his personal decision. Nothing can stop an idea whose time has come. Okay, okay, okay. So, this ball, just as solidarity, just to show respect to Lukman. All the teammates signed on the ball. All his teammates signed on the ball and gifted it to Lukman. <laughs> now a billionaire has cited that ball and said, I need that ball. And I'm willing to pay 15 million US dollars for that ball. You might be wondering, 15 million US dollars for ball? Have you to see? Someone buying plate number, number one, number two, number three plate number in Dubai, in Saudi Arabia, for the sum of 100 million naira. Haven't you heard that before? A plate number can't be duplicated. If it's number one or number two, they buy it, or number 27 numbers, they buy it for the sum of millions of US dollars, and that plate number can never be replaced. And when you hear about some certain billionaires buying paints, portraits by people, buying all those uh, diamonds that is originally is worth one million US dollars. But because of the story behind that diamond, that diamond can fetch as much as 100 to 200 million US dollars when it comes to auction, auctioning it. People value such assets a poor man like you and i we never understand such drive such 
want from such billionaires. We can never understand it because we are not billionaires. But they understand the test. They understand the adrenaline that pushes them to buy such things. We, you and I, no go feel understand that. No matter as you think I'm rich. But you know you have read of something about a diamond fetching millions of US dollars. You have read about the blood diamond. You have read about Mona Lisa Pent. You have read about so many other uh, significant uh, things that were sold for ridiculous amount of money. Ridiculous. It's not as if you can, they can do anything for you, but they have fetched ridiculous amount of money. Some scriptures, so many stories, evil books that have fetched ridiculous amount of money. Well, even Michael Jackson jacket that he wore, a jacket that was uh, that cost approximately two thousand five hundred US dollars to make, fetched more than five million US dollars as at now. If you want to buy one of his jackets, originally wore by Michael Jackson, fetched as much as five million US dollars. So people are so excited when it comes to those things. And look, man, is this boy is his own gift. He can wish to sell this gift to this Sudan billionaire. Nobody will take a dime from him. It's his own gift. He can wish to set part where it is. He can wish not to part where it is. Now the question is, if you are in Lokman's shoe, <laughs> if you are Lokman, will you part way with it? If you are Lokman, will you part way with it? Be honest. If you are Lokman and someone is offering you 15 million US dollars, 15 million US dollars is close to 20 billion naira. Will you part way with the ball and say, or more than 20, 20 billion? Say, take the, take the ball and give me the money. Be honest. Be honest with yourself, guys. Be honest. Will you part way with this? Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know, guys. If I'm look, man, <laughs> who am I to say no? Ball now, ball. I will still, the thing is that I will just uh, snap the ball. Do a pre-model of that ball, but that original ball, I'm selling it. I'm selling it, man. See, I, I, I will break other records. I will break other records. They are messy. They do sell. All those stuff they have used over the past few years, their jacket, and their jackets, some significant things they have done, they have sold them. They do sell them to all those uh, billionaires who want them. So it's left for Lukman though. But if you were Lukman, will you sell it? Let me know, guys. Comment in the, <laughs> below. Let me know about it. Then, that being said, this is just a bad side news. Uh, let's talk about this Nigeria that was arrested and sentenced because of Naira mutilation. This guy from Edo was arrested, sentenced because of Naira mutilation. You people think that the federal government are joking you know i've said it before this is how they will continue to arrest another girl was arrested in the northern part of nigeria i was jailed as well now this guy no matter how the thing they switch you is please eh? eh try as much as possible to resist the all your spray money resist the all your spray money this guy now He's going to stay in jail for how many months now? Just like Bobriski. The guy is from Benin. Bobriski is currently there now for how many months? Six months. I think he, she has done, or he has done more than two months. Now going to three months. No auction or fine. They don't talk of any. No auction or fine. He will stay there for complete six months. Oh, bo. <laughs> complete six months before he go release. They're going to release him. Cut. It's crazy, fine. It's crazy. Well, resist the urge of spray money, guys. If you cannot resist the urge, I'm not telling you to do it, but if you cannot resist the urge, there are better ways to spray money. If you cannot resist, resist the urge, 
resist the urge of camera. But it's impossible to resist the urge of camera when you are spraying money. Because the reason why you spray money is because you want people to notice you. And for people to notice you more is through camera. You see, we are so carried away with this camera. And this kind of camera is dragging so many of us into jail. <laughs> resist the odd, my guys. Resist the odd. Resist the odd. Resist the odd. Resist the odd. This guy is going to spend some few months in jail. Sorry. Oh, no sorry for him, though, because uh, he, he should have known better. He should have known better. Now he's learning the hard way. <laughs> learning the hard way. Resist the urge. Resist the urge.